can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. And today, of course, we're working on the E63 BMW. I know it's kind of weird. It's E63. It's kind of like E63 AMG, like the Mercedes. But no, this is a 6 Series, which is kind of crazy. So today's video, I really want to get that whole front end put together. And I'll be able to drive it down the block and back. You guys saw from the last video, the windshield is put together. And the car is really coming together. I also got a steering wheel that just came in. So I'm going to have to surprise you guys in a whole other video. Mainly because it was a lot of money. And uh, I have to put that in the end because I need it. I need it to like pull the car together right now the car is a mess i'm gonna try to fix the car and there's a lot of maintenance to get done so i want to do the maintenance and i want to do the repairs and then the mods that's kind of what i want to do but look forward to our steering wheel and then i'm also going to be trying to add an exhaust system to this car i do need you guys' help so i'll let you guys know what's good what's the deal that i agreed with valtronic because that's the exhaust system i want to go with yes you'd hear it here on my 435 and the exhaust system sounds amazing so i want that exact same one on there but i had i made a deal with valtronic and i need you guys' help anyway we will get to that soon not in this video in this video let's pretty much get this whole car back together let's go ahead and lower the car and then get that bumper out there and start working on it. I might need to get some Bondo. Let's see. Yeah, so from the looks of it, guys, I have no Bondo. So let's go ahead and go down to Walmart, get some Bondo, get some putty, and then hopefully start working on that bumper. But let's just lower the car, get the bumper out of the way. So when we get back, we are ready to go. So this is the damage we're gonna have to end up repairing. This doesn't honestly look too hard, but not too easy at the same time. So uh let's just head down to Walmart and get the stuff we need to make this uh look a lot better. Um this looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. The bumper already has the bondo and the putty, so it's pretty much ready to go to get sanded one more time and then fully go through with some primer, and it should start looking like this style. I don't think it's gonna be perfect, but I do think it's gonna look really good. So I guess just give me a little bit of time, wait for this to dry up, let me sand it, and uh, we'll see the results. All right, guys, so I'm super happy with the results, honestly. I don't know if you guys can really tell. It looks still pretty bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this with some primer, and then you guys pretty much should see the shape that I was kind of aiming for. I had to go for this line right here. This was so hard to do, especially considering that it was bulging out of one side. So I don't know if I really got this exact shape, but if I got close enough, and to be quite honest with you guys, I think I got pretty close. It should look really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this side of the bumper on that fender so I don't paint on the ground, and hopefully it comes out pretty good. Alright guys, so I pretty much went ahead and sanded it down. Check it out. I finally got that line. It's not as perfect, but it's smooth. It looks a lot better. I got this pretty much flushed down by heating it up and folding it inwards. So, I mean, guys, check that out. I got the line, the curve, just like this one, you have the curve, the line. I mean, to be honest, I think I did a pretty good job. You guys let me know down in the comments for somebody that's not actual body expert. I think this came out great. FYI, this is the primer that I use that really helps out when trying to distinguish the lines and everything. This is honestly the best bang for the buck. I think it's $10 a can. It's not cheap, but oh my God, does it really help out. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down and then we're gonna go ahead and mount this bumper on the car tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Welcome back. This is day two. So we're back in the garage and I'm gonna be working on the 650i. So basically you guys saw with the bumper, you did a great job. At least I think I did. I mean, if you guys look at this side, um, again, it has the curve right here, and then it has that line, and for the most part, looks really good on this side, no issues. And then this side as well, we went ahead and got this curve, and then we got the line as well. So I think this came out pretty good, especially when you wrap it. I might need to just shove a screwdriver and just take out all the extra Bondo that's in here. But other than that, we went ahead and sanded this area as well. I think, honestly, it should come out great. So without further ado, let's go ahead and put all the sensors, put on everything on this bumper, slap it on the front end of the car, hopefully get this front end together for the most part. We're gonna have to still order in a few grills, stuff like that, so this bumper will have to come off. But we wanna test out the 
fitment of the front end to see if I have to order this bracket or not. But of course, we're still gonna have to get turn signals. This one is cracked right there, and this one's completely missing. So it is what it is. So without further ado, let's just start putting on this bumper. Looking at this bumper right here, this hose is just dangling. So we gotta figure out a way just to maybe mount it. So what I'm thinking is honestly drilling two holes straight down here and then getting a zip tie to go around it. I think that would look good. Um, maybe actually back here. I think that would be sick actually. So let me go ahead and drill two holes so I can drag a zip tie through it and just hold this hose right here so it's not going anywhere. Looking at the bumper right now, um, you guys can see that the bumper is sitting kind of low compared to the headlight, unfortunately. And then also, this turn signal is supposed to go into there, but the bumper is slightly lower. So, um, this metal piece that's holding on the bumper is slightly bent. So, I'm just gonna keep hitting it upwards, and hopefully, we can get this to come up a little more and hold up the bumper a little higher. If not, uh, we're just gonna have to figure it out. Hopefully, I can just get this thing to bend up a little bit and just pull this whole bumper up. Alright guys, let me go ahead and lower the car down. The bumper is fully assembled. Uh, other than a few pieces we're obviously missing, but let's go ahead and lower it down and show you guys a few more things. Here's the front end fully assembled. So you guys can see the bumper to hood is pretty much perfect. The gap right here, perfect. The gap right here, perfect. My only issue is the headlight gap, so I might have to remove the headlight and play, play out there just a little bit. Um, but this thing, it looks like it lines up pretty well as well. Um, I just need to replace this, obviously it's broken. So that needs to go. This is functional, all the sensors are functional. The grills are still coming in the mail. This headlight's actually really good and this is actually perfect. So this side's honestly amazing. This is the side that actually replaced the fender. The fender on the other side might need to be moved in a little more, but uh, no big deal. I have a lot of mods coming in. Like I already told you guys, I have the steering wheel on hand. I have a few things for the exhaust waiting to happen. A few things for the suspension waiting to happen so if you guys are excited for that make sure to smash the like button so now i think what i'm gonna go ahead and do is start taking apart not this mirror but this mirror the mirror that came with the car i'm gonna start taking it apart and see if i can at least put this back together or if i have to order a new mirror this one is gray if i could just remove the plastic trimming i think that would just be a whole lot easier plus if i learn how to take this apart we can actually wrap it on when the time comes so it's better to learn so i'm gonna start taking apart this mirror and uh, start applying it onto that mirror wait, wait wait wait, i need to calm down a little bit um so basically guys if you see on this side the grill is there uh, i need to paint this to match this because it looks kind of weird in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint match this. The grill is in there pretty perfectly. This is the one that came with the car, the air duct. And then obviously the fog light's missing. So we're missing a fog light, two fog lights. We're missing the piece that goes here and then the intake scoop as well. Uh, the grills, I went ahead and placed an order on that. These holes, I'll, be, I'll sand them down and it'll pretty much be covered with the wrap. So I'm not really too worried about that. Sensors are all in place. So yeah, guys, really coming together, really coming together. There's a little dip right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that as well. I just have to hammer up that little piece like that we were playing around with, no big deal. But yeah, I am really happy in how this is coming together, guys. This is this transformation is coming together real quick. We already got the car started. The alignment and the fitting of everything is already coming together and it's all one color, which is absolutely crazy. So yeah, let me go ahead and fix that and then we'll go ahead and fix that mirror at the same time to get most of this car situated. I just realized this piece is part of the mirror. There's no way I could take that apart. And this one, it looks like that piece got destroyed, sheared like right off. There's no way I can get that off. So I'm gonna have to take apart this mirror off the car. Um, I have to probably remove the door panels. So let's go ahead and do that. All because this little piece right here, unfortunately, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So let's go ahead and get this whole mirror off the car, swap it out with that one, put all the things back onto this mirror right here.
All right, guys, this mirror is back together. Let's go ahead and move the car out of here. I think it's actually dead, but let's go ahead and move the car like over there, maybe even out there. Remove the door panel and remove this mirror. It's an absolute pain, but uh, let's hope we can do it. Something I really like about this car, this is not like a sticker. This is actual LEDs, so at night you see like this orange light, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but anywho, let's go ahead and start removing this door panel and uh, remove this mirror because this thing is no use to us. I'm gonna let the car run. It's saying engine oil level too high. Uh, I'm gonna keep letting it run. Maybe it'll readjust. I know the oil is good because we did the oil ourselves. The idle is perfect. So I'm gonna leave it as is. Hopefully it readjusts. If not, I mean recalculate. But if not, I did get the new sensor. Seriously, so the next oil change, I'll swap that sensor over. We'll have a new oil level sensor. But without further ado, let's go ahead and start removing this door panel. Get that mirror on the car. And I think pretty much for the most part, if we get this mirror on the car, this side is fully repaired the front end is fully repaired it just misses some pieces and then we'll go ahead and wrap the whole car and we got so much more things planned for this thing you guys won't imagine i didn't think i was gonna go all out on this car but i definitely am it's a new build for me i've never done a six breeze before and i kind of want to go all out because it's actually really comfortable and it's really nice like believe it or not tell me it's coming from a three series i thought these six series are like boats and they're just obnoxious well it's not the same it is it is more of a luxury than a sport but it is very nice a very luxury car anyways let's go ahead and remove that mirror and uh i want to take it out for a spin afterwards i can hurt you like you hurt me too so it would be my luck that this piece right here, I cannot remove it and transfer it onto that. If I was able to do that, life would have been so simple. But also, this cable is not the same as that cable. Because uh, as you can see, there's only one connection on the one on my car. And there's three connections on this one. And it isn't even the same connection. I thought if this was the same, I'd be able to at least plug it in. But nah, I can't even plug this mirror in. So two mirrors, no use. I'm going to go ahead and place an order on a new mirror tonight. But I'd probably just order a black one. Mine as well. So we get the whole car pretty much blacked out. I'm really happy in how this build is coming together. It came together so nicely. I'm going to go ahead and get a lip. And we're going to also add a split to this make it look super good same goes with the sides as well i need to order some turn signals and we do have to get this car fully wrapped up oh i forgot to add the trim yeah this trim piece real quick all right that's back on there so yeah guys pretty much the car is really coming together i still want to get that cup holder right there the cup holders on these cars are so different than the e90 they really stand out the same ones on the one series and they look so good so anywho i'm really stoked all this car needs is a side mirror and a few bumper grill pieces and then it's ready to get wrapped and it's ready for all the mods so if you guys are excited for all that make sure to smash the like button let me know again what wrap you guys want to go with if you guys are excited to see the next episode I'll upload it tomorrow if this video gets 2500 likes so smash that like button without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble see you guys in the next one peace out